Hello and welcome to LTP, Learn to Paint with Mike. Uh, this is our ninth day, ninth broadcast in our uh, daily challenge. And before I get going on Proteus Base, like I was planning on, on doing, um, I got a gift from a Secret Santa. I participated in the Secret Santa exchange on the Privateer Press forums. And uh, he came today. It's a Fenblade kit car. No. Fell collar. Troll blood fell collar, I think. I am so good at this. Anyway, here he is. Unfortunately, he came in pieces. So normally he's got this thing in on his back, but they converted him to be more Christmassy. Alright. So he has a, like a Christmas tree and a candy cane and another candy cane. So before I get going on the Proteus, or get continuing on the Proteus, I'm going to continue I'm going to patch this guy up, and, uh, man, I love the Troll Blood models. They've got all these cool little doodads just all over. So, we're going to start here. I'm actually going to start by my usual. I'm going to scuff up the uh, connection points, and it looks like... The original construction person, Aluminum Falcon, on the forums. Uh, Mr. or Mrs. Falcon, if you're watching this, thank you very much. This is an excellent little model. Um, so I'm just making sure that these edges are roughed up again. Give it a little extra surface area to grip. I'm going to put this little arm back on. There we go. Make sure it goes on. Alright. I'm just going to hold this for a minute. Maybe not a full minute. Just long enough for it to kind of set a little bit. Alright. I don't like that. So it appears that Aluminum Falcon started with a probably a black base and then lightened up to this green color um, with red on the bony beard bits. A nice red tabard, nice red sash. Very pretty. And they've put looks like some of that some of the same ballast type material in the bottom and um, instead of the big puffy brush type that um, you've seen me put on the Proteus, let me see if we can get a good view. Instead of this big puffy foliage They've used a uh, lichen, so more thin and uh, spiky, as, in, as opposed to bushy. Okay, so now I'm going to put on, it looks like this candy cane was just made out of A foam core, or maybe this came from a hobby shop. Anyway, um, I haven't had any trouble just using this normal super glue on foam core before. Now, watch, this is going to be the first time. Okay, got a little bit of extra stuff. I'm just going to 
wipe that up. Apparently I don't have a... a rag handy. There we go. my fingers together because I was impatient. And now I've glued my finger to my candy cane. Lovely. Well, <clears throat> looks like it was a good thing you sent me some extra candy canes. And maybe do some big First, I'm going to put this Christmas tree. That's a great little Christmas tree. Obviously from a, a hobby shop. It's got this lichen stuff on it too, so maybe this is an actual lichen. Maybe it's a plastic Christmas tree hobby material. Very pretty, these, these little glitter glue blobs. Just love it. I like it. Very nice. And so... Roughen up the edges a little bit. There we go. Just get a few of these. So there's more for the glue to hold on to. there and then match it up on this hole all right now I'm gonna hold it here and I'm gonna be patient I'm just gonna hold it in place maybe blow on a little bit <laughs> don't know if that helps if any of you watching know whether blowing on super glue helps it to cure faster, please let me know. And it looks like that's done. That's cool. There we go. Alright, now what am I gonna do here? I'm thinking that maybe I'll actually Remove the bit that's stuck here. Ooh, if I can. And totally ruin the tree that I just barely held on. Okay, I'm going to be patient. I said that last time and then I wasn't patient. Try this again, but this time I'm going to put a little blob of glue into the female end and put the male end in. Maybe that will give us a better bond. Okay. I'm just going to hold it and take some deep breaths. Count to Actually, my daughter was trying to get out of going to sleep tonight. And she came and she said, Oh, I can't sleep. I've tried everything. And of course, that means she's been sitting there playing or reading or something. Um, and I told her to count backwards from 300. Now, I'll tell you. this stuff. I really hope it doesn't.
doesn't take off the paint or cause any problems. Just set, 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 set. Okay, now there's a little, a little bit in the front here. There we go. ugly brush to kind of smooth this out a little bit. So I have a big blob. And I'm also going to put some on the back. And use my ugly brush. Front side's cured. I'll let the back side be for a little bit. Now I think. this big long end and drop it on the floor there you go anybody uh, betting on how long it would take me to drop stuff we are 13 and a half minutes in it's like a drinking game or whatever I don't drink so I don't know all right some of this on here. Actually kind of goop it all around. And just hold it. And actually that's staying pretty well. Okay, now I'm just going to set him over here to cure. And I'm going to work on <clears throat> the base of my Proteus. And Ooh. here we are. So I'm starting. So on this front side, I I, I have a theme of putting 
a copper metallic. Um, but if you just do straight copper metallic, it takes forever and a bajillion layer, layers. So I've got this paprika, which works just about perfect. Oh, I don't have my wet palette open. Well, oh yeah, it's only been 15 minutes. I can't, can't quit this uh, episode yet. So here we are. Ah! Well, that's a good super glue bond. Be able to move him without it busting off. All right. And here's my wet palette. Still just wet and actually no paint on it, so we're going to fix that. Paprika. Just put a little bit of that right there. And then I'm also going to do the back side. There's a little bit of color here, but I really want to darken that up. And I use deep burgundy on the back side. And I'm going to pause this for a moment while I help my son. Okay. I'll take my Proteus here. Easily put it along. And I'm using the tip of the brush to just kind of push right up against the edge of my scenery. other side. I'm just pushing right up against the scenery on the base. look like some of that grass is soaking up the color a little bit. And I think I'm okay with that. that 
good. And that was very bad. I did not put water in my cup. Ta-da! With the magic of film making, I suddenly have a cup full of water. Alright. front side dries, I'm going to put some pigment on the back side. There we go. I realize I am using a really thick paint mixture. I'm barely any water. Partly so that my paint doesn't just soak into all the grass and ballast that I put on. Partly because I'm not planning on doing any shading or color transition, it's just the flat color. And there we go. Not the front side. Uh oh. going to call that good for today. Thank you for joining me. And this was episode number eight in uh, LTP's upload a day challenge. Yeah, you're probably not going to see four, five, six, or seven because of all the technical difficulties. There's no sound and Frankly, I'm a little bit embarrassed. So, um, but thank you for joining me today. Um, if you are on a platform where you can follow or subscribe or like or thumbs up or whatever, plus one, uh, please do so if you like what I do here. You can also visit me, my website, our website, LTP is on livingtable.net and um, youtube.com slash livingtable and twitch.tv slash livingtable anyway thanks again and i'll see you tomorrow in transmission <laughs>